Okay, so welcome to the afternoon uh, session. And uh, right after lunch, we will have uh, our invited uh, talk on osmotic computing by Professor Villari from University of Messina. Please, Massimo. Thank you. Thank you a lot, Antonio, for the introduction. Uh, even I would like to thank you for, uh, for the invitation, uh, even for uh, this really great uh, uh, money we had. I have to be honest, I appreciated the presentation of Maria, also from Paul, from Valeria, even uh, Simone. Yes, to make this presentation, uh, I'm thinking in mind to change it uh, respect to what we, we have seen this morning. And I just to make a connection with the, what uh, Simone said, there is a mess. There is a lot of uh, items we have to consider there. We started from cloud, then we moved on the hedge, there is now the fog, and, uh, and even IOTs. What do we, we believe? We, uh, we have a chance last year to meet some professor from uh, some of our biggest universities of Europe thinking to move in different ways why we introduced the concept of osmotic computing. Why? Because we are looking for the future. This is the title of my presentation. We are trying to understand how to deal with what is happening. It's happening so fast because we know what we discussed the last year is totally different to what we are discussing now. It's really incredible. But we have a good, a good handle. We can manage it because we know that the past is a part of what we are looking just now. We, we are in the, in the future, what we are discussing, because I, I see all the contribution from the great speakers we have this morning, and uh, we can move forward for sure. We, we are much more rich. This is why I like to push Antonio to continue in this uh, great event also for the future. Okay, uh, where we are? Uh, I started looking for um, many things. I, I used the, what we know very well, the web, the wiki, to, to put some words there, just to have a common understanding of what you are talking about. All the times we are talking about the cloud, fog, edge, big data, and so on and so forth. In particular, in this concept, this is what I believe uh, to, to figure out just today. Today, we have a chance to give a look to the concept of virtualization, the concept of abstraction of resource, social platforms, APIs, serverless. It's a new, new trend. This is what is a, the technology that, in some way, try to make some concrete step over in this direction. Okay, starting from there, we look at uh, cloud, fog, IoT, I will try to harmonize. Yes, Simone, you are uh, totally right. You have to harmonize all, all this kind of stuff, understanding if there is a common thread. I believe, I strongly believe there is a common thread. What you have to do is to, to model it, and to understanding what is required. It's great the, uh, the talk of Paul, you have to look to the users, you have to look to the the real customers, the real application. Now I know what is the business canvas, what is the business plan, what is the business model, it's the crazy stuff for us, but we have to look into understanding because it's really useful. To put away is not useful because you don't have so many money to spend, you have to be concrete. To find, it's a, repeat, it's a great, uh, your uh, remark of how to, to have this common platform to satisfy much more issues. I totally agree, Paul. Okay, the current trend, and if you see uh, needs, devices, because we are also to look what the technology is put in there. And we, we thought it's a, it's a starting point for a new concept, osmotic computing, in this direction. Okay. I like to use the Gartner hype uh, cycle curve, because it uh, allows you to understand where we are at the times, and uh, it's great because uh, every if you look, it's uh, much more related with the market, with the discussion with the, the poll in this, this domain, or what people believe to have, and so on. If you look in the past, 2010, I remember that moment very well, was where uh, the, the cloud computing was on top. And all the times you look there on HyperCube, uh, hyper HyperCycleCube, you can see what's going on for the future. And uh, it was a long time ago to have on top of cloud. But what is cloud? It should be really a clear understanding that there's a way where you can somewhat, somehow able to uh, on demand access, uh, share the pool. You can see the picture, well known picture. All of us, we are comfortable. We know what is cloud. But I remember when uh, I started with the, my uh, collaborator, 
Antonio Celes said, okay, Marcy, what is this cloud? I don't know what it is. 2008, we were able to be part of uh, one of the main projects at that time. But they, we started thinking it provides a solution, and now everybody's talking about cloud. What is really impressive, just to be honest, I move around, or even in Messina in Sicily, all the people in enterprise asking me for cloud. What does it mean? There's some kind of uh, some delay, some gap. What we are doing that moment, what the people can receive later on. Even uh, the, I like to put uh, this, uh, this piece of a paper, of uh, the journal newspaper, uh, where the European Commission is trying to push away less GAFAs. Less GAFAs are uh, Google, uh, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. All the time we're talking about, oh, we need the big player, the big operators, less GAFAs. Because they are uh, leading the market, worldwide market. And now connectivity. It was also great to see what uh, the others presented in the area of fog, because the connectivity is strongly related to the fog. I look also on the wiki, not only for the cloud, also for the fog, okay? To do what? For understanding, because there are so many terms, so many stuff, but all the times there is something in common. There there is cloud, and cloud is some facility to use. Behind the cloud there is big data. In some way you need to have some metrics, some uh, control and data plane, but what uh, I really appreciated was this uh, representation of uh, Open fog architecture. Uh, also, me, I took uh, several days ago this uh, kind of listing. I really appreciated it because uh, I have seen a lot of common aspects, okay, in many other domains. It's a really, really great starting point. And then I look at the edge computing, not less availability, peer to peer, computing, cloud, blah, 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 Internet of Things, and so on and so forth. Okay. I say all the times, say there is something is there, is repeating all the time. Even uh, eliminates uh, the hypothesis of core computing environment, uh, failures, scalability, charge for network service model, as Simone said. Okay? Repeat, all the time, something is there. And I look at also what is the trend. The trend is we have an Internet of Things because we have a million of things, we have uh, industrial IoTs, we know. We try to shape the scenario, the environment. The environment is with many, many IOTs. This is the reality at the end for common customers, for enterprise, for citizen, and so forth, so far, where they need to be connected to each other. Okay? And then you have, if you look, to get from them data. A data we know are becoming big data. It was a really surprising to see that in the last, uh, let's say, 20, 30 years, how many digital data we are producing. It's really, I was looking at the picture. Some of you can look at this, this is true. When you, you keep in mind the tape, the desk tape, or the disc, vinyl disc, and so forth. Seems to be a long time ago, but it not, was not. Okay, and then looking also at the concept of microservice. I'm trying to understand all of the items together, because to me, I feel like uh, a chef in, make, in cooking some stuff to have ingredients, try to understand <coughs> what is interesting from them. Each of them can allow you to have a part of the story. They are part, all of together, the same story we're talking about. To me, it's not a story of age, of cloud, of fog. It's a story for some kind of harmonization stuff. One history for all of them. You can derive yours, just to be in a good shape. I belong to telco, go ahead with the fog, don't worry. I, I, I am able to make devices, go ahead with IoTs. But what you have to do now, it's a, it's a time to do it. Give a look at the governor picture. You cannot be alone, because uh, something is happening. As we started by the cloud. We started by the cloud by the fact we understood to have a common platform. The cloud is consolidated, it's there. Nobody talking about the cloud. It's one technology, or some of them, is valid, based on virtual machine, virtualization, a lot of business, a lot of stuff. Okay, let's learn the lesson from cloud. Let's use the same approach for the others. Repeat, it's like a tsunami. It's moving from the clouds towards the rest. This is my feeling. This is what is happening. This is why we try to introduce this concept. And also, uh, even this year, I look at, at 
this kind of stuff. I can see software-defined security. It's interesting software-defined security. But where? In IoT? In big data? In cloud? In fog? Where? Who cares where? It's a security by itself. Even a software defined anything. I totally agree. You can define by the software what you want, as Maria said this morning. You can define networks, you can define routing, you can define streamings. It's great. You can define everything, okay? For me, it's a common bet. On top, you have use cases. You have to satisfy customer, no poll. It's the real, real value. If you satisfy them, we are happy. Because each of us has the ab ability to take a chance to have uh, some revenue, to continue our job. The great things, we are in a domain, nobody knows this, be silent on that, in a great domain because we are changing our life. Last year I was presented in Messina, uh, the famous movie maker uh, Giuseppe Tornatore, talking about uh, the Nuovo Cinema Paratiso. He, he received one Oscar, and you cannot imagine uh, as a one hour of speech, half an hour of speech was about of a digital life. Okay, it's an hour, an hour moment. He explained that in the past you spend uh, six months or three years to make a movie, now one month, why? Because by the digital computer you can remove antenna. You don't need to knock on the doors to remove them. And if you see the slides of uh, Maria or the slides of uh, Paul, or the slides of uh, Simone, of Valeria, there is some things where uh, fog is in between, there is cloud, there is edge, or no, no, fog in the cloud, edge is there, no, no, I made a mistake. Fog is in the middle. Is a light. No, no, no. Another one. The fog, fog in the cloud. Oh, no, no. Fog is in the, in the edge. No, no. Okay. It's a mess. It's a mess. The reality is you have a piece of big data local. You have a piece of big data uh, global. You have remote control. You have local control. You have networking all together. Hey, come on, Massimo. But it's not easy because my group is belonging to telco group. I can talk with the super performance group or a performance group or cloud queue. But you make a jump already, Antonio, with this project. You said yesterday this project was great because you have a chance to talk to each other because something is changing. I agree. You have to talk with all the groups because we need, for, let me say, for this concept of smart computing, we need a piece of your knowledge. But have the common understanding and not the the uh, different. Somebody computing. I put it osmotic, but it's not osmotic. I use this one because I like it. I like to have this concept of uh, osmosis of people that you think, I think, I can change ideas. My idea today will be different of the ideas of yesterday. Even uh, software defined anything is a software defined, guys. We can define what you want network, controllers, links, uh, everything is everything defined. And in any domain, you can have the capability to apply public domain, hybrid, federated domain, anything software-defined domains. You can define what you want, and we know how to do it. This is really great, because we know how to do it. Okay? Uh, having in mind what? Having in mind set of APIs, everybody said that, migrability of services, micro is better, because it's, you know, it's reliable in some way. Uh, bounds, no breach, if yes, delete service, the overall service. Switch off, doesn't work. Okay, and look at the device. Can you imagine the small device that are even smarter, even capable with the process storage? Multiple cores in a device with two euros from China, two euros of a device, double core. What does it mean? I like to say, put away, throw away the device, even in this domain. What kind of device we are talking about? They are uh, uh, processor based, if we have a lot of them, but are coming also the controller based? Repeat, do euros device is a controller? Do you know what is the future for them? Try to make virtualization. On what? On the device is on your router, Vodafone, in your gateway at home. Let's use the same technology because the, the processor is the same. It will be built by Chinese guys, for sure. There is some small Chinese inside. It's true. Let's make it work. It's better for us. Creativity, just to put your microservices in that device. This is what I'd like to remark. So, yes, this is for us the harmonization stuff. It's a multi-computing where you can collect 
fog, cloud, IoT, and edge, but I can explain to you why you need this kind of approach. It's not a matter of terms. Who cares about other things? But it's a matter of a philosophy. The philosophy is there. Taking all the stuff together, and this is the concept. You have this osmosis process. It's quite easy, the osmosis process. You have some bucket. In the middle, you have a membrane. What? Software defined membrane. What is the really great ideas? Is moving elements between both, but not only from the cloud to the edge, even vice versa, from the edge to the cloud. Moving what? Elements, micro elements, okay? This is the idea. And the idea came in uh, Sharam uh, office last year, we were talking about uh, the other people and also Omer Rana and so on and so forth. So let's introduce it. We have the chance to move, to tune, where you need services, microservices. But even where you move data, you see, different shape, because maybe in your harm device, it's not possible to have the same container. I'm totally sure, but the functionality is the same at the end. It's this business logic functionality. It's what the user wants to see, not how it works, okay? In a federated environment, because in Europe we strongly believe we have to make a federation. It's something that's missing in your document, but we know in Europe you need to be federated, federated clouds, federated IOTs, federated all the stuff. And we also started the last uh, months even to have uh, the identity federated. We have a speed in Italy to make uh, the accessing of uh, all public administration data by the federated identity, okay? Look there, IoT, edge, cloud, public, private, hybrid, up to you. Osmotic computing, you can change, you can move microservices from one side to another one. It's quite uh, complex as an environment. As I said, it's a federated environment. You can have here, some gateways, here is the gateway for one way of Vodafone, but it can be also from uh, Telefonica for another one. You have to maintain some portion to execute some containers. To do what? To optimize the networking, to put in place security, to interact by the cloud. Okay, and how? Uh, essentially the idea is to uh, satisfy as you see, here are different devices, a Raspberry, but here can be also Arduino device, can be what you want, anything. Where you can land in a piece of code, in a piece of a computation, totally abstract. Who cares if one company or another one? What we like to have is a service, microservicing in place, in place. This is uh, the stack of Osmosis stack. It's uh, quite challenging because uh, all of this stuff, stuff there is uh, missing. It's uh, totally missing. But we have uh, some part of them. The idea is to take into consideration environment, uh, video surveillance. It was also the presentation of Simone, but also the, the Valeria, looking for the possibility to have this kind of streaming. If you look at the high port or so on and so forth. So here is the, the important step over to think to have some blocks to develop them. Okay? Where? In macro edge clouds and macro public clouds. This is, a, let's say, the moment with each other. Specifically in the paper, I just uh, can mention to you, we just to figure out what is the, the purposes on that and what is interesting to do. All these kind of parts will need to be developed. Okay? Just to take into consideration this movement in osmosis behavior, direct osmosis, inverse osmosis, and to take into account all the services up and running. This is uh, the the paper I was mentioning, and the main part we have to develop right now, we believe are from H to H, runtime process deployment, configuration, networking, security, from the beginning, not at the end. We need the cradle to put all the services inside, edge computing, a workload contention, monitoring, orchestration, facility control, totally missing right now. There is no any possibility of that. And there are some details. Example for runtime because of deployment, of, uh, we need to make, create a market of virtual IoT based application if you have to deploy application on the edge, but also uh, distribute IoT service, software consolidation. This is software or service consolidation. This is one example. 
the configuration. You have to deal with the configuration. You have to apply this behavior at that container, at that microservice in your house, in the network, in the fog, the same behavior we are talking about, even to the cloud, to make the, the great computation on big data. Okay? Is the here the networking in place? This is where uh, uh, the fog computing is looking for with the, all the network of function and virtualization capabilities. All the time you have this kind of a control plane at the plane. Let's use it. Let's use it. I agree. Edge computing, because there is this kind of reverse of loadings, take microservices from the device. Doesn't work. You have any problem, put in the cloud or vice versa. Put on the edge. If you have some problem, you have to make some assessment there. Some of this is happening there. In the, in the quarter of the, all the smart buildings, Deploy a lot of uh, they buy a lot of microservices on the edge because you have to give a look some things, some phenomena. When you finish it, you move out dynamically. Okay. And of course, work orientation to understanding uh, quality of service of these microservices is not easy stuff. We understood also from the presentation of Valeria to understand the, where you put all different services. What to do? We don't know what to do. Okay. Dynamic the that. Uh, resolve contention. Monitoring. How to make a monitoring of the stuff. Okay? And even uh, uh, for orchestration elasticity. In osmotic computing. Okay? This is what is totally missing because uh, it's the future. You are not considering only the device, you are not only the cloud, only the fog. No. You have to consider all together for any purposes we just discussed. It. Okay? So we introduced uh, the males. Micro elements service, we just discussed the, with the Patricia this morning. Yes, to have a microservice, but not only, even data. Microdata. Okay? MERS, microservice, and microdata. Uh, you can have uh, user data, but you can have also uh, operating system data. Because it depends what uh, kind of service you are looking for. Okay? Here for you, for user, and oh, our services are data. Okay? You can have uh, some hierarchy for representing this data, because this data are linked to the service. If you have the service, you have the configuration of the data in YAML. It was a discussion of half an hour ago with the Antonio. Okay, this is uh, the, the structure. You have mails, microservices, uh, uh, microdata, to stay together, understanding, even to recognize them. These services is linked to this data. And you need also to take into consideration of versioning. Okay, this is why we introduced some namespace with the UID, who is familiar with the containers know what I'm thinking because the technology is there. We need to, model, to make some model to make some abstraction. You see there, microservice with some tag URL to identify the version, UED to be unique, linked with the data. In this case, it could be data from the users or can be data from the application or can be data to, for operating, for the monitoring of the service itself. Okay? Solution, membranes, storage tanks, chambers, tubes. It's not a joke. Trying to understand how to harmonize all this kind of stuff. What you are talking about. Okay? Here you have a meds. No fog, no stuff, no. You have to exchange services between big data, cloud, some uh, relative uh, close to the customer cloud, fog, micro cloud, edge. At the end of the day, what you need to do is this, to isolate it. You have to set up an impermeable membrane. If, if something has happened there, you destroy the overall service from the big data to the cloud, to the fog, to the edge, to the IoT, destroy it. Here and also there should be isolated. How you can isolate this? Software defined membranes. Membranes as a filter. Membranes as a gateway. Membranes as a proxy. We know how to do it. Okay? An example. You can define the pressure of a membrane, of a, the, the solution. Okay? If something's happened, like uh, the issue with the security. Here are two main examples where Smart TV can allow to, to see what you are doing in your house. And even, and many hackers, it's a security problem, 
they open up the, uh, the web camera on the baby at two, uh, two o'clock in the night to say, oh, okay, uh, wake up. The parents were, uh, were at that time really scared. Who's opening up the camera is looking for my baby at two o'clock? It was an hacker. So LG can see your, uh, your uh, information, can see your uh, living room from Korea or Samsung because they switch on the TV, uh, smart TV. It's a matter of security and privacy. The issue is there. We are not inventing nothing. There are some information there. How you can, in some way, guarantee this? To me, this is a kind of a disruption. You have to destroy the overall service. If you have to be aware, the parents, something is happening. And you destroy everything. We switch off the camera. We switch off that link. You inform the cloud operator, everything. Because it's really bad. It's really bad. OK? Osmotic, not from scratch. No, no. Osmotic is already there. Antonio said, oh, I am using Osmotic. I don't know why. It's true. It's a basic example on Docker, because they are doing a really great work in the area of containers. Really great job there. If you see there is some orchestration, some security. But what is the issue there? They are looking for one domain. They are looking for containers in the cloud. Why don't they extend it, as you said, Simone, even in the application, even the smartphone, even the fog? OK, this is an example. Another great work is from Google. They're looking also in Docker's containers is Kubernetes. Massive work. Even there, what they are looking for, to have many pods gathering <coughs> microservices. Do you know what are microservices? Pods are equals to melts. They are gathering microservices and even some data to exchange each other to set up what? To set up the uh, environment, the cluster environment in the cloud. This is what the looking is looking for right now. Okay? Another interesting thing. So do you know what is the, ne the new trend? Is to deliver JavaScript in micro device. What is the difference of comps? Nothing. There are microservices, there are mails with the microservices and data will be deployed at the same way, will be deployed at the same behavior. DDP, do you know what are DDP? Are the data uh, able to interchange? In some device, you can have uh, some local MongoDB here, minimal MongoDB. MongoDB is a NoSQL database. What they do, they exchange data. A few data here, more data for the big MongoDB. What kind of data? Micro data, MD, okay? OK, you can have uh, uh, osmotic computing in Docker and in Meteor as JavaScript, up to you. Depends if we are looking for MPU or MCU. Antonio, this is what uh, was interesting, what we were saying. You are using YAM to use it to deploy one application in Tosca. It's great. It's an element of osmotic, it's true. Let's use it. And we are using it on, uh, on Raspberry. We deploy it containers with the Docker. We are uh, deploying Kubernetes. And they are able to interact with each other with the desktop machine, Raspberry, and even with Aspruino and SP32. JavaScript, containers, containers. Just to have some kind of harmonization of stuff. OK? Here we make some experience. It was really great. Now our idea is to have this device to take them Deliver the services, if they are broken, put away. Read the only file system, download from the, the internet, and deploy the many containers you want. This is an example we did in Messina. Many containers in, in Raspberry. Is it possible? Is it possible? Okay, in this case, we can have uh, three different containers uh, with no containers, a different application with one, two, or three. If you see, it has good behavior. You spend some time to run up containers, but after that, it's really, it's really good. We also make some experience with the two euros platform, SPA266 from China. It's great. We are trying to deploy Lua in Python architecture, but even as we said, some application like a co-op protocol. And then I can show you why. What's for the future? Is it possible to, instead to have a cloudlets, to have a containers in Android? This is the idea. Why? To have some harmonic way. 
As you said, Simone, is it possible to replace CloudLet on the mobile? We don't know yet. We are looking to uh, understand is it possible or not possible. Okay, Osmoid competing on the cloud. What to do? Cloud storage, we have it. Cloud processing, we have it. NFV, we have it. NoSQL, RESTful, containers, we have it. Let's use it. Cloud is ready. The others are not ready. Okay? We have uh, make some collaboration with uh, one Kubernetes, uh, one experience with uh, Fujitsu Siemens. They liked the approach of uh, Osmotic. They also invented the terms of uh, Ubernates. It's quite uh, in line with the, what, uh, the strike that was uh, several days ago and till yesterday, okay? Or two days ago. They like it because it's a matter of you can spread in a federation environment different services. Okay? Is Ubernates with the federated Kubernetes stuff. They took our picture, they apply it, they domain, because they're looking for new application. Even as we are looking for new application, we have the chance to interact with the people of the University of Lecce, electronic guys, they need to monitor the, the uh, aqueduct is the, uh, the pipe uh, system, facility system, okay? What we did, we put uh, containers in Raspberry, okay? Because they understood it's possible to give a look to FFT, the fast food and transport, to understand the behavior, the physical behavior. Do you know what is now our first service you are looking for in containers, osmotic? The first one is FFT, it's great. FFT is a, we use it for face recognition, it's a, we use it for speech recognition, it's a, we use it for pipe break on the recognition, and you can use it on the cloud, or you can move on the, and what is changing there? Data you have to exchange. In this case, a lot of data, and we said, don't worry, we can provide you in your system some MPU Raspberry based with containers. Okay? This is another example we, we did. We are trying to conclude the presentation, but can we apply it in more domains, in user interface, this kind of concept? Thinking differently. Where? In social. But even in serverless, there is a new trend of serverless. Okay? But also for the software defined osmosis for people. People don't like to use our tools. They appreciate to use them, but they don't like to use them. The common people like to have a small piece of Dropbox, a small piece of Google Doc, a small piece of that. They, we are flooding them we have to reduce, to filter what we are able to produce. We can use 100% of the tools. They have to use 10%, then 11%, 12%. Not everything wants and from uh, smart to osmotic city. This is an example of osmotic GUI. We, we understood we, complex GUI, complex user interface doesn't work. Apply the concept of a membrane. Why is it really useful, the concept of a membrane? Because a membrane allows you to have the full chain end to end. It's not a matter of the button, no? It's a matter of the button, the functionality behind, the storage behind, the networking, the fog, everything in one domain, okay? Here, you see, it's not only what you see, it's what you cre are creating behind you. Social media, they're also looking for bots. Seems to be a different way to interact in the social media. Bots of Facebook, bots of Telegram. What does it mean? Our microservices, well, some small interface, microservice interacting with the cloud. It's already there, the concept of osmotic. Serverless, do you know what is serverless? You need uh, something uh, fast news, fast information back. Okay? Even there, you can consider an environment with the most example to do what? If you see here, uh, serverless uh, solution is 20 milliseconds. If it's you need much more time, destroy it. Doesn't work. Can we figure out the viscosity inside the solution? What does it mean? Any elements here can see the behavior of this 20 millisecond. All of them knows how data are transmitted, how uh, the microservices are delivered. Any parts end-to-end -end solution knows what is the delay and what is responsible to in this uh, osmotic context. As we said, software defined osmosis for people, I just mentioned it, just to simplify tools, and the last slides, from smart to osmotic cities, yes, we are looking for a complex scenario, federated, this is our idea, where you have IoTs, big data, all of them, 
But it's important to have isolated islands where inside you have facility for networking, security, and all the stuff. So where people, smart city, where people and device osmotic will behave. This is uh, the concept, osmotic, but osmotic is what? Rely on what we have. It's not something new. Something is a way to try to harmonize all the concepts. Okay? And also fog, in some way, can help osmotic to create this membrane. How? Putting tags in the circuit, understanding is the viscosity right or not? Okay, number suction and more. Thank you, and let me thank also the other uh, people that uh, were able to introduce this new concept. If there is any question? Please don't get angry if I didn't uh, get the my point, point of your So I understand that you energetically convinced us that the microservices and the containers, we can, so probably, I understand, let me tell you what I understood and I make the question, everything in one minute. So that I understood that you were saying many different dimensions. One of them was microservices right. one and of them. containers, let me phrase, yes. that we can use for uh, this hog uh, or edge layer. Yes. And then that membranes are very important because they will allow these osmosis. Yes. But I'm not sure I understood the... How you can perform it. Yes, great. As I said, in terms of uh, uh, membranes, the concept essentially is there to have the gateways. You can have them. So the idea essentially is this. If you figure out the capability to create a membrane, a means, the environment uh, you can control. This is what you need. An environment you can control should be spread from big data, cloud, fog, edge, and IoT. The membrane will deploy. The membrane would be the, the round because you have an impermeable membrane outside, okay? And in each subdomain, you cannot uh, migrate uh, microservices from the cloud to the edge as they are, okay? In the cloud are the shape on cycle. If you put them like uh, in ARM device in the gateway, you cannot. You have to filter them, and before to having the, uh, the deploy on the, on the edge, you have to filter them. There you apply the osmotic concept. It's a what? It's a gateway. Let's take in the service, and to translate like, a, uh, like uh, a proxy, where the, the, the service is deployed there, is able to send and receive data from the cloud, the micro data. A micro data is there because there are JSON based, there are some configuration, the YAM, you did the YAM, great. The same YAM you are using in the cloud will be filtered by the osmosis and will be a part of it to be deployed on Raspberry. The same application where you take into consideration not 10 elements, but five of them because the others you are not able to maintain by the what? By the device by the filtering, but before to go there, you know already who is the device. And all the uh, possibilities you can have, you deploy the right YAML. What is YAML? It's a configuration file. It's what? It's a link to the microservice. You deploy the microservice, and you attach, you deploy the MS, and you attach the MOS, the micro data on the device by the YAML. So all the times, this kind of osmosis approach allow you to have the right service with the right data in each device. And you need some translation to do it. Example, you can have a containers uh, Docker-based. Sometimes you cannot have them. You can have uh, JavaScript. What is happening, thanks to RESTful API, thanks to the co-op API, you are able to translate this concept, okay? I don't know if I answered your question, but this is the idea. Thank you, Massimo, for, for your presentation. It was really interesting to me. Um, the, the question I have is still on these membranes, and especially in their filtering behavior. Mm. And my question is, now that, well, from, from the rumors that usually <laughs> get around when new work programs are approaching, it seems that uh, the key aspect of uh, artificial intelligence to, together or along with the cloud or distributed environment would be key for the next future. 
So from this perspective, my question is, uh, how do you see um, the relations, or better, the characterization of the mem these membranes with respect to the idea of putting intelligence within the clouds? And uh, on, on this is on, on the one side. And then if you think that in turn, this intelligence could be lead to a kind of osmotic intelligence. That's my question. I moved uh, really fast before. Mm. I got to the right. Mm. It's one of the aspects we mentioned. Mm. We included some machine learning, uh, mm. genetic algorithm. We are totally right mm. in the direction. It's one uh, research challenge we figured out before. I can uh, show you uh, where it is also like some They line it with the, the, the idea, the basic idea, right. If you see the genetic algorithm, multi-tier optimization this way. Thank you.